Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your friendly host, Captain Drusiv, and today we are playing Transport Fever, which is a very exciting game if you're into that sort of thing. Now, I for one enjoy city building, uh, managing railroads, things like that, and this kind of combines all of that into one, so it's pretty fantastic. Um, I've been playing it for a little bit. I haven't been able to get the recording set up properly until now so uh, I thought let's get some videos going on this because I can spend literally days playing this game it, it's just that much fun to me but anywho so started a new map um, it is a little custom I do have a few mods on right now not a ton um, nothing really to write home about mostly trains and trucks and things like that but um yeah pretty exciting i do like to pair the american vehicles with the uh european landscape because the european landscape does tend to be green which i find to be more aesthetically appealing whereas the american one is usually like a brown it looks more like uh something you'd find in the i don't know the uh, the southwest or a desert it looks really deserty so first things first um good way to start this game is build a passenger line uh, you almost have to do that um, I don't really play on easy you could probably get away with some things on easy but I play on medium and uh, you do need that revenue going at least in the beginning to uh, to make sure that your company is going to stay afloat and that you don't go through all of your money like instantly so right now I've got it on pause I'm gonna go ahead and build while I'm on pause just to make sure everything's set up right. So first things first, uh, we're gonna need a train station. So I'm thinking, I kinda wanna start with this one, but I'm thinking this might actually be a better option. So what I'm actually gonna do here, I'm gonna remove that, and then we're gonna build a little medium street here to kind of create a loop. Now, I think, yeah, so if we go to the train stations here, we can rotate here. And then try to make the uh, try to make it as unharsh, if that's even a word, as possible. Yeah, so we do have another I'm wondering if I even want it to continue this way. So I'm thinking maybe a terminal station for this city. Because I think this is just going to connect over there to Laredo and over there to Vallejo. And I do have the American city names on as well, if you haven't noticed. Uh, well, I guess, yeah. I mean, I guess you can find these city names just about anywhere, but that's besides the point. So, we're, I mean, you see that this is highlighted uh, when I put this here. This is kind of the sphere of influence that the station will have. So this is where uh, people will walk to or easily be able to get to this station. Now to extend our reach, I will have to build bus stations, which is really simple, um, but pretty necessary because you will need um, you will need that to uh, to make sure lots of people are able to get to your um, your station. So I'm going to do a similar thing here as I did with that one. I think I do want to start with um, this city first. Although it does look like this would be an easier route because elevation does play a huge factor in this game. So you really have to pay attention. Uh, you can't just go building things willy nilly or you're going to run out of money really quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And because I think this is going to run through, um, we're going to do a two sided station. And that's going to pop right in here. And the reason I'm putting it here is because, I mean, so the green is your residential that's where most of your passengers are going to be you're not going to get a lot of residential or a lot of passengers strictly from your industrial i mean unless you have people commuting but i try to make it at least kind of close to the homes that way they can they can uh easily get to and from the station now the next part is uh building the tracks themselves now what does happen when you kind of build these is you have to keep an eye on the speed of this track so we have a nice gradual curve going here this is pretty good um, good start now I like to delete the roads before I build through them because for some reason 
it likes to um, <laughs> it likes to make these weird humps, and it I mean it doesn't hurt the game at all, but it just kind of feels weird and looks weird when you're watching the uh, the trains go over. So I'd rather the vehicles have kind of an awkward bump than the trains, given that you know trains are very heavy and uh, really not meant to bounce. Uh, most most vehicles that aren't trains do have. Well, I mean, trains have suspension too, but now I'm just getting too into it at this point. So, anyways, we're just going to follow this road here. Um, I would consider crossing over just to kind of save from having to deal with this, but, I mean, the station's right there, so we'll just kind of do another gradual curve here, and I'm just sighting this right now. Um, oh, goodness. Oh, I'm trying to make sure it's able to turn as fast as possible. Now, what does happen when you remove the roads is you get this kind of uh, nasty gram up here. It doesn't really like that. All that means is that you've removed a connection, and uh, you just need to put it back. And then boom, now it's happy again. Oh, that's not what we want. We want tracks. Now we're, we are starting out at a fairly, uh, what, what year is it, it's 1850s, so there's not a lot of advances in technology right now, it's going to be pretty basic, but as time goes on, you know, there will be more upgrades and uh, new vehicles, things like that, and uh, that's when it starts to get pretty interesting, but for now you do start out pretty slow. Now I do like to get down here like this just to kind of get a really good idea of what the landscape is doing. There's also a landscape filter that kind of shows you elevation lines like this. But I think because of where we're at now, I'm going to try and loop it right here and pass going through that because elevation will just immediately start eating into your budget and it's it's crazy. Uh, a rule, of, something I like to do is I like to just kind of keep it in the 55,000 range for the segments I'm building or the I mean anywhere around there I feel like that kind of helps in keeping costs down see this is a much shorter segment than the one I just built strictly because you see this valley that it's had to create now of course the shorter segments you build the um, the more it goes with the terrain so you do have to be careful because eventually you'll slow down because I mean and trains can only have so much traction uphill power so something to keep keep in mind and you know, sometimes it's worth spending a little bit of money to make sure that uh, that uh, your trains are able to run smoothly and quickly especially when we get high speed rail later on and um, have access to faster trains like that's crazy right there that was like hundred and eighty three thousand dollars now I might adjust it later on, but there's a good chance I, I probably won't. Alright, so that was fairly cheap. And you see how we've kind of had to go up and then kind of down again just to kind of keep it level as best as possible. So it does get tricky. It's, uh, it's not as easy as it might seem on the surface. So we've got our first bit of track here. Probably not the most efficient route, but it was one of the, I mean, it only cost us uh, $550,000 to put two stations down and all the rails, so that's pretty good. Now, next thing we're going to want to do is build some bus and tram stations. Or, uh, mostly bus. I don't, I don't think I've ever really messed with the trams. And uh, I like to put these near the train station for obvious reasons. Ooh. That may pose an issue later, but for now this will this will do. I'll try and get it as because it costs a lot of money to destroy buildings too. So I'm just gonna pop that there. That might become an issue when I start adding more track to these stations, but we'll just revisit that then. Um, I'll probably have more money by then as well, so not a massive deal, but we'll do that. And then we will also add back in the train section uh, bus stations, and I like to just kind of do like a clockwise sort of thing. We've got this one here. Um, the station helps because it holds more people. Uh, it doesn't get backed up as much. These little, uh, what are they called? Just stops. They uh, 
they, I don't think they hold as many people, so it can start to back up a little. So I'll just kind of dot these around. Um, and it's a pretty simple process, actually. The, uh, the system does a good job of kind of let you know what you need to build and where. Well, it doesn't let you know. You just kind of figure it out. And this is also part of the city out here. I don't know if I'm going to run the bus line out there yet. Um, actually, is that... So it is residential. It would just really take some time to get all the way out there. So I, I might do that later. Um, it just doesn't seem like it'd be cost effective for this time. So we're very well covered, the city right now. And uh, the next part is making sure you're able to purchase some buses. Uh, or, well, I guess these are going to be horse carts to begin with. Um, I just put them anywhere, really. Um, I just like to keep them close to the city. I mean, because when you buy the vehicles, this is basically where you buy the vehicles. It will then start the route here. But if you only have one, they'll drive all the way over here, and that's going to take forever. So, Because we're going to need multiple bus stops, uh, multiple bus routes, just to make sure we're getting, uh, getting everyone here included. So this one's a little bit easier. I do have a little bit more room and that's what's kind of interesting about this game sometimes especially when you're starting is figuring out the best way to uh, place things because you, you do have limited money and uh, you know it, you do have to think about the future a little too like what's the city going to look like. These will probably start connecting and then it will grow outward and uh, you'll have to readjust where your bus stops are but that's, that's going to be way down the line here. Uh, definitely not in this episode so we'll just plop this guy here and so to build lines you just go to the line manager tab which is I guess this one here and you just start clicking doop 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 and because I do a kind of a clockwise motion in mind it does a pretty good job just putting it together so that's that and I like to name them so this is Fontana I think is the city so um, let's do Fontana bus. And that'll be a bus line. And then we'll do another new one over here. Start with the, the station and just kind of go around like last time. Boop, 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 boop. And then this will be Vallejo bus. You really don't need to name them, but it really helps keep track because once you start having multiple lines and cargo lines and train lines and ship lines, uh, you got just things all over the place. It really helps you differentiate between the two. Now for this one, um, for the train line, all we got to do is click there and then click there. And we're done. That's pretty simple. It's a really simple line. It's just back and forth. So this is going to be... I'm just going to abbreviate these and then I'll just do like the first four letters, vowel font and then passenger. All right, so we've got our line set up. Uh, we've got buses in both our cities. We've got two train stations. Now we just need some buses and trains. So for the buses, and I keep calling them buses, but they're literally horse carriages when you start out. Um, I like to match the colors. What's the line? For this one this one is dark green you could change it too as you go but uh i like to get it right as it goes so that way i don't have to mess with it i usually buy like four or five of these so go one two three four let's do five it's a pretty big city so we've got five of these guys here and then we just set the line to the bus now because it's paused nothing is moving at this time i do that uh, primarily to um I don't know, I think it helps with costs because when it's running, you're incurring fees. Um, like each of those carriages costs money to run periodically. And it can start to add up. I'm probably being too particular about it, but it's whatever. We'll buy four. Uh, one more for this one. Because it's kind of, uh, yeah, we'll do four. And then we'll do Fontana bus. And then for the, uh, for the train, Normally I would, well, okay, so first you have to you have to have what's called a train depot. And that's just something you can place and connect. 
Um, for now, I'm just going to plop it right here. I'm just going to put it right on the end of this so I don't have to bother with building a lot of track or sourcing a spot because for now this is going to be fine. This isn't going to move through just yet. Um, Fairly soon though, I actually don't know if this is a good strategy or not, but it's what I'm doing, so. To buy the train, you click on the depot, buy trains. Kind of only have one option to start with uh, as far as trains go, so there you go. You get your Baldwin's six wheels. Um, pretty cool little train. Uh, it kind of has that classic uh, Western American look to it. Now, for passengers, you do need passenger cars. I mean, could put them in boxcars, but they're not hobos, so they're not catching the southbound to, uh, I don't know, wherever. So, because these hold, I mean, they're kind of pricey. These are 272000 um, I am going to buy two at least, so that'll give us a capacity of 28. And that should be good for now, I want to say, because I do want to save some money, because um, this isn't going to make money to start with. And uh, I am going to start building new tracks here fairly soon. So, in fact, I'm probably going to delete this almost immediately. But, there. The train is assigned. So now we can just put it all into motion. I pretty much exclusively play on the triple speed. It just goes faster. You just kind of hear it rattling. You can follow it. See, it's got the green accents. I think this is just brass, maybe brass or some other kind of alloy. I'm not really sure. I'm not an expert in metallurgy, especially in video games. Yeah, it looks all nice and clean now. These will get dirty as time goes on, and you'll see that here fairly soon. Uh, I do wish there was a way. I mean, I'd put like a little train wash or something if I could uh, keep my fleet nice and pristine. I mean, because. Apparently I'm the only one in the country that's had this idea to start a transport company, so it's up to me to make sure people and goods get to where they need to be. And that's quite the responsibility to have. So we've employed this man here. Um, he's just kind of chilling, not very animated. In fact, yeah, I don't think he moves at all, actually. But we're almost to the other, other depot here, or station, I should say. And let's see. It does look like we have a little dude here. We've got some. We've got one person at the station, so this is good. Our first trip was empty completely, but it's because nobody knew we existed yet. It does take some time for the people to accumulate. As you can see, I think we've already got another person walking in here. Got some people around town bustling about. And you can see the industry's already. Well, maybe not industry. Whatever. This our residential building's already going up over here. Yeah, people walking in, and they're all going to the train station. So that's kind of neat. This is where they'll get dropped off if they choose to ride the bus. And I keep saying bus, the carriage. And I do see that we have some people over here as well. Mm, oop, that's just, that's just a bus stop. Okay, this is the train station. We got ten people here, so this is good. People are really digging it, and uh, we'll start probably seen a profit on this train here pretty soon. Right now it's losing money. If you go to the finances tab, minus 78.8. Not too good. But that's that's to be expected. Um, I think the way the game runs is uh, if you have the lines running, it requests the people. So for instance, if it was just the train without the bus, it would just request people from the surrounding area, but it also requests people from the uh, I guess the area that the bus line, so the people have to get on the bus, or the carriage, ride the carriage over, and then get over here, so, yeah, you see we did make a little bit of money, $3.68,000, which is, honestly, considering there was only one person on that train, that's an extremely expensive uh, trip, that guy spent, I mean, especially for 1850s dollars, that had to, that had to cost a I mean, literally a fortune, not a small fortune, I mean, this is a time period where you could probably buy, I don't know, things for pennies? Or a penny? Like, I feel like a penny probably didn't, went a really long way. 
I mean, that was like maybe your whole grocery bill was a penny. But this guy dropped three point six eight thousand dollars on his first. It was the inaugural trip. Maybe that's why. It was the new cool way to get to <laughs> cool way to and from places. And so we're not polluting as much. It just stopped, I guess. It was like, all right, a little scatterbrain here. But yeah, so let's see how we've got. We've got a good number of people. We got thirty-one. So this is going to be a full, full train here. Let's see how much we make. The fifty-nine thousand. So that's pretty good. I'm not sure how many people are on that. I forgot to check. But this one is now full. Twenty-eight of twenty-eight. So it makes me think we're already outgrowing these uh, these these cars. We might need to add another one on. And, I th well, yeah, this has got 33 already. Oh, man. Alright, um, I am going to delete this. And then I'm going to pause this. Because I have noticed if you edit the station while the game is running, it'll just remove all of these people from the, from the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the cars. So... Don't want to do that. I think it will expel these people, but we'll see. Uh, we're going to upgrade. We're going to put another uh, another set of track here. We'll hit apply. And yeah, see, it did, it did make all these people leave. So let's see how it goes. The building got a little bit larger. Did it... Uh... Ah, crap. Yeah, it's going back the other way. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, I do need to... Crap. Um, I should have thought this through. Because this is now going to be cost prohibitive. <laughs> Alright. Um, and that's literally as tight as I can turn this. I should build it now while I still can. Because it... Yeah. So this is going to be tight. Eventually I will just go straight through. But that's what I get for procrastinating on that. And we'll do that, and then we will do this. Alright, so we only have $67,000 now. We're probably going to run into a bit of debt here because of what I did. But overall, this train will start making us some good money here pretty quick. Hmm. Oil well. This will be fun. Um, so the oil you can make into either fuel or um, uh, refined oil, and those can then be turned into different products. That the uh, the fuel can just be sold. So like this is a refinery over here. It'll take just this resource and make it into those, depending on what you're using. I think one is a byproduct of the other, and then. This so you can make steel, and then steel you can use to make manufactured goods. And then the goods you would sell directly to the people. But then you get into the freight trains. And that's where the real money is. I mean, the, these passenger trains can make a good, a pretty penny, but uh, once you get a solid freight network going, you're going to be making some crazy cash. Lots of money, lots of money. All right, so we've got... We're, okay, so with one load, we're already at 43,000. That's really positive. 103,000 just on one trip. Let me just watch from here. Heading to... Heading for... Fontana. I'm going to go up this little hill here. Doing a brisk 25 miles per hour. There are people who ride their bikes faster than this. Or bicycles, I should say. Motorcycles are definitely faster. Go through this valley. And down the hill. The hill that I've made. It's already got plenty of grass on it. It's very nice. And then we go back down again and then back up. Not very even. Whatever. Alright, let's see what we got. Another 103,000. So yeah, this is going to be a good money maker for us. 
But I think uh, that's a good start for now. Um, very excited about the upcoming episodes about this game. It, it's just a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know how much of this we're going to get built up. I mean, there is so much to connect, and we can definitely try to f fill it with as much track as we can. So let's see. But uh, until then, uh, be sure to like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Comment if you have something else to say. And if you don't mind hitting subscribe, uh, that'll, that would be pretty sweet too. And then uh, be a little clued in more on when these episodes would come out. So, Alright then, well, thanks for watching y'all and have a good one.